Yo, what's good everyone and welcome back to another video. As I'm sure many of you already know by now because the game did peak 130,000 players, the brand new update as well as the brand new event has just gone ahead and happened for Wacky Wizards. And in today's video, what I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys is how to unlock every single brand new potion. So we'll basically be going over every single one of the ones from 71 all the way to 83. And I will also show you the locations of each and every single one of the hidden ingredients. We have a lot to go over, man, and I wanna make this as quick as possible for you guys and i do want to say i apologize for everyone that is in my server right now because we're in my vip and it looks like everyone has kind of discovered how to make gigantic heads so we're gonna have to deal with that for a little bit but shouldn't be that much of a problem now before we get into this i do want to say if you guys are new to the channel go ahead and subscribe we're on our way right now to 50,000 subscribers here on the channel as a matter of fact to be a little more specific we're exactly 800 subscribers away which is insane to me considering we just hit 49,000 subs yesterday also this video goes ahead and helps you out and you find it informative i would really appreciate it if you would drop a like it does help my content get out there but let's get started with the very first ingredient being obviously the brand new robux if we come over here to my plot you'll notice that this is the brand new ingredient and the only way to get this is by destroying the cyclop that appears every single hour so at the time that i'm recording this video there's exactly 29 minutes left and he will go ahead and respawn take him out he will go ahead and drop a cyclops eye which you will need to obviously go ahead and travel through this gate right here deliver that eye to oz and in return he will give you the robux ingredient now unfortunately in order to get every single potion done you will need to do the cyclops fight two times in total because you are going to need the cyclops head again for one specific potion that potion is going to be number 82 which is called mr rich potion so yes as soon as you go ahead and grab your cyclops eye just make your way over to your cauldron drop it in and that will give you the mr rich potion now for potion number 71 this one is extremely straightforward just go ahead drop the robux in and you will be 100 done with that next one is going to be the link mon potion again go ahead and grab your robux ingredient and this time you're going to need obviously a shrink potion and just like that you will have completed the link potion now i know i'm going a little out of order here but i just felt like it was a lot easier for me to go ahead and just kind of go down the row so the next one is going to be the buxley potion for this one it's extremely easy grab the robux drop in the chameleon and there you go now this next one is going to be one that i was asked a lot during the live stream and that is the sketch potion in order to find this just go ahead make your way over to the little lake with the waterfall inside of the water there is this little pink block situation going on here and you'll notice right in between them is the sketch head grab that make your way back to your cauldron drop that bad boy in spawn potion and there you go you've got yourself a sketch potion now for potion number 79 this is one of my favorite ones it is the fly bucks potion which is the one that i'm kind of using right now to fly around this one is simple robux and bird and you're good to go next up you have the score square potion which is another one of my favorite ones this one turns you into mr Krabs. also a really simple one just grab your robux grab mr fish over here drop them in spawn that potion drink it and you are now mr Krabs. now number 83 is the golden potion also an extremely interesting one it kind of turns your character all golden but very simple again this is going to be the robux ingredient as well as the fairy number 72 is imperious potion this one is the robux ingredient as well as the brain number 74 is going to be robux and giant's ear number 76 will be robux and giraffe hoof now we're moving into another one that i was getting asked a lot during my stream and that is the j and g potion for this you will need to go and grab another one of the little secret ingredients come on over to the spider cave as soon as you go ahead and enter on your right hand side there will be a post a note just grab that post a note make your way back to your cauldron drop that in and now you've got yourself the j and g potion very very simple Next one on the list is going to be number 80 being the poor potion another one of the really funny ones but again very simple robux and rotten sandwich now this is the one that i was telling you guys that unfortunately you will need to do the cyclops fight again and my best suggestion to you guys is to go ahead and save this i have gone ahead and save this myself because it looks really cool and obviously that way you won't need to go ahead and wait the hour to get the cyclops head again but that's pretty much it man for all of the free ones that is every single one of them now we're going to go ahead and move on over to the premium potions so the first one is going to be p32 this one is fairy giant's ear as well as zeus's beard and that will go ahead and make a size controller potion p33 is the golden tree potion robux with a magic seed then you have p34 which is a robux and a frozen egg to make the bucks walk potion p35 is the throw bucks potion which is robux as well as a hat of gear and then the final one is the goldify potion which requires the 
Robux ingredient, a fairy, a chameleon, as well as Zeus's beard. And that pretty much does it for every single one of the new potions, as well as the locations or the secret ingredients that are kind of spread around. I wanted to go ahead and make this video as quick as possible for you guys and kind of get like right to the point so you didn't have to go through my entire live stream since it was well over an hour long. I didn't want to make you guys, you know, have to go through the whole thing. Now, really quickly, there is a couple of other things that we can look over here in the map because they're kind of Easter eggs that were thrown in. For starters, if we make our way over to the back of the map, you'll notice that there is a couple of black cats on a flying broom. This is obviously a little bit of an Easter egg towards the witch's quest that we're going to be receiving next week, which I am super excited for. We'll definitely be covering that here on the channel. Who knows? Maybe we'll do another live stream. Next up, let's make our way over to the desert so I can show you guys another one of those little Easter eggs. And that is right over here. If you notice, there's a witch imprint on the ground with a broom sticking out. And then over at this cactus, there's actually another broom. Still no word on what exactly this means, but we definitely found this extremely interesting during the stream. And I wanted to go ahead and show this to you guys. And now we're going to go ahead and show you the final little Easter egg, which is actually located underneath the map. So if we go ahead and make our way down here, you'll notice that there is a sign very well hidden down here that says Oasis is a lie. This is extremely interesting because right off the top of my head, I can't really remember what Mr. Rich said when he came into the map, but I do know that he mentioned something about Oasis. I'm not mistaken. I believe one of my Discord staff members actually told me that he says he's from Oasis, which honestly is a little uh, interesting considering it says that it's a lie. But I mean, Mr. Rich was obviously in here and he's not a lie. So what exactly could this all mean, man? Is Oz the wizard, the bad guy here? What is going on in this world? And what is the next thing that we're going to discover once those witches are introduced? Because man, I have so many questions. But anyways, man, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, it was going to be a really quick and short one. I just wanted to go ahead and get this information out for you guys. I have some more really cool wacky wizard videos that I'm going to be putting out hopefully tomorrow. So make sure that you guys stick around for that and turn on notifications so you do not miss any of my future videos or live streams. That's going to go ahead and do for this one. Like always, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.